morning guys it is currently 6 30 a.m and as much as i'd like to say that i'm outside this early because of my own discipline and drive if you follow me on instagram you already know why it's pretty obvious at this point it is because of hobbs right here what are you doing man hobbs is a nine week old great dane puppy i got him about a week ago when he was eight weeks old he has been absolutely amazing so far and for those of you who don't know great danes are a giant breed which means that hobbs is nine weeks old about 32 pounds right now but as he grows he will be pushing about 180 pounds and could grow up to be seven feet long i figured it was fitting since you know i'm about six nine and grant himself is pushing seven feet so i knew that when it came to getting my first dog we weren't going with any any tiny dogs we want to get the biggest one possible with the biggest personality. Not only do Great Danes grow to be really, really big, it happens really, really fast. So I can't wait to update you guys on the journey as he grows and becomes an amazing, amazing dog, which he already is. He's already potty trained, and one weekend he already knows a few tricks. I'll, I'll show you some of them in a little bit, but I'm really proud of how much he's progressing so far, and it's really important with a dog like this to get them trained really well when they are small, because when he is 180 pounds, you don't want him pulling you around and being disobedient because uh, at that point he could pretty much beat me up. Like I said, this is my first dog ever and I know for lots of you guys that might be crazy. For some of you, maybe not. I don't even know, like I know we have a lot of international viewers. Is owning a dog in other countries as common as it is in America? Because when I told people it was my first dog, lots of people were really surprised. It's kind of like an American staple that you, you know, have a dog. So yeah, let me know in the area of the world you're from if owning a dog is as uh, cliche as it is in America. But if you've grown up with a dog, you have a dog currently, you got any tips on training as a puppy or anything of the nature, please let me know. I've done a ton of research myself, especially on Great Danes because they're a very unique breed, especially how you feed them and stuff like that. But anything else, just let me know because I am fascinated. When we first picked him up a week ago, I didn't know I could love love an animal this much. It really has been incredible. He already pretty much follows me off leash. You can see the slack there. I mean, yeah, he's really just been amazing. The only sucky part is waking up so early, but besides that, he just adds a lot of joy to my life. It's, it's really phenomenal. I'll show you guys some of the tricks he's been learning right now. Keep in mind, we've had him for seven days exactly, so he's learning. He's getting there. With all the tricks, he'll do them about 100% of the time when we're inside. But if he's outside and just has a tiny bit of distraction, not yet. We're getting there though. He knows his way home from here. Let's go, bud. When we first got him, he couldn't do the stairs and now he is just so proud. He does that all on his own. And we're home, buddy. Hops, come here. Sit. Good boy. Sit. Paw. Good boy. Hobbs, sit. Wait. Come here, come here, good boy. Yeah, so that's my, my new puppy, Hobbs. I am resisting all urges to make him his own Instagram account because as you guys know, my, my job's taking photos and video and he's about to be the most filmed puppy of all time, so like, where do I put all this content? But not yet, not yet at least. If you wanna see more of Hobbs, definitely check out my own personal Instagram. Don't worry, Rise Magic's YouTube channel will not become a Hobbs dog channel, even though some of you may like that. But we'll be back to regularly scheduled content next week. I have an update on Rise playing cards. I'm just gonna put that down in the description in case it needs to be updated when people come to this video later on. Besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of Hobbs, especially the intro. That was really fun to make. He's coming on a lot of ventures with us already. Yesterday we went on this cool hike. That place we went to where we filmed Hobbs is actually the same place we did the fire breathing video for those of you who have been here for a long time. Just a little fun fact for you guys. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next week. Peace out.